So what I've done is I've reinstalled Windows 8 onto this laptop. So if I boot it up, you'll see it, it'll go into the Windows boot up sequence. There we go. But I'll just shut down again. Now I'll insert the Peppermint 10 installer flash drive. And now if I boot up, it'll actually go into this grub menu. Now I have experienced issues trying to install Peppermint using this installer. So I've actually found a little workaround. So if I shut down the computer again, and then boot up into my BIOS, so I'm just tapping the F2 key on my keyboard, and that takes me into my BIOS. Now if I go over to the boot menu and I go down to the boot option one, and we can see that there is only the UEFI flash drive available in the boot menu. Now the workaround that somehow seems to work, I don't know why, is that I'll just go back to advanced and then I'll go down to the SATA configuration. So that's the configuration for the hard drive. And if I just click enter, and then enter again. So what I do is I change it to AHCI and then save and exit. And then as it's booting up, I'm tapping the F2 key again, and then go to advanced, go back to SATA configuration, and then change it back to the IDE mode, and then go over to the boot sequence. And now, as you can see, there is the non-UEFI flash drive version of the installer. Now, I don't know why this works, but it just seems to work. So if I select that as the first boot option, and then save and exit, and now it should actually boot into this menu. Now, I found that if I install from this menu, it seems to work. So that's the little workaround. Hopefully that will help you world anime number one. <laughs>